Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? This Tory government has a plan to dismantle the NHS through 22 billion of cuts and get it handed to their big business friends by 2020. This is the five year forward view of Simon Stevens, Chief Executive of NHS England. 44 unelected STP devolution boards consisting of heads of trusts, CCGs and local authorities with their private partners have been secretly set up by NHS England to drive this through. Sustainability to STPs stand for Sustainability and Transformation and that is code for cuts and privatisation. And this is what these STP boards are already implementing behind our backs. We know from the scanty outline of the STP plans for Norfolk and Waveney that hospital services are being slashed, GP surgeries are being ground into the ground, while cash is diverted into these new commercial out-of-hospital hubs and private facilities. All the talk of improving care in the community is just hot air when vital nursing services for dementia patients and community hospitals like the Patrick Steed and Carlton Court are folded. Prime Minister Theresa May praised her excellent Health Secretary Jeremy Hunt who went to war on the junior doctors to impose a rotten new contract to turn them into cheap labour for incoming private companies. And the attack continues on NHS staff, the removal of nurses' bursaries, plans to keep overseas doctors out and to close A&E's, maternities and children's departments all over the country. And what's driving this is the global economic crisis of the capitalist system. And this treasury has got 1.4 trillions of debts. The 19 billion squeezed out of the NHS in the last five years has resulted in 80% of acute trusts being in the red. The Norfolk and Norwich has a so-called deficit of £32 million. On the 22nd of July, a hit squad from NHS Improvement was sent into the Norfolk and Norwich to impose the most ruthless financial special measures. The hospital was ordered to make £22 million of cuts and quick wins within eight weeks. The quick wins turned out to be the closure of 68 beds in three wards on the 15th of August and the closure of 24 convalescent beds at the Henderson units and I'm shocked to find they did it two or three days ago without telling us but that's power for the cause. This is not NHS improvement, this is NHS destruction. These are not quick wins, they are nailed in the coffin of the NHS. Every urology bed lost to the NHS means the care is reprovided in the private sector with profit for shareholders. Every convalescent bed lost means essential care denied to patients who are turfed out into their own homes when they're not fully recovered. We want the 68 beds back at the Norfolk and Norwich and we want the Henderson unit reopened. It would be good. It would be good if we could organise regular pickets at both of these sites for a start to publicise this widely and with a view to occupations as necessary. Or as one member of staff from the Henderson just said to me, bed in. Why not lie in the wind ward and stop them closing it? We cannot have the likes of Virgin Care, Carillion, Serco and Corporation America running our health service with siren voices already calling for top-up charges and health insurance, which the vast majority of people cannot afford. It would be back to pre-war conditions where millions of people are denied access to proper health care. It's the US model. A revolutionary leadership must be built to lead the working class in a general strike to kick the Tories out. This government must go and set up a workers' government to nationalise the banks, restore the NHS and all our public services and create a planned socialist economy. Which is why I'm inviting you all to come to the Newsline Anniversary Rally on Saturday the 12th of November in Kennington, South London, where these issues are being discussed. So please talk to me later and buy a ticket and come.